Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to part four of Super Mario 3D World as Peach. We're actually going to start with this, because this is like an endurance thing. Um, Mystery House Melee. It's five stars, and basically what you got to do is get from point A to point B in a very small length of time with a bunch of obstacles in the way. But even if you fail, you get to keep whatever stars you do collect. So if I were to fail after this one, I would get to keep that one star. But we're not going to fail. Because I'm a cat. Meow. I'm going to fail. Okay, I ended up failing. This is fine, because you can go back and do it again. So, and it looks like I got to, I got to keep my cat suit. So we're just going to go back. And redo these. Here we go. Alright. So let's do this again without all that fail. There we go. That was the difficult one. Because this one is just taking out two fire bros. And there we go. Five stars. Yeah, you get like 10 seconds to beat each one. It, it can be a, it can be very stressful, especially with some of the later ones. But we're now up to 35 stars, too. So now we're going to go back here. And this level is Really Rolling Hills. It's a pun, because the, hi the hills are alive with the sound of rolling. And see, there's a Mario switch, so we actually have a Mario to activate that one. I don't have a cat suit anymore. Wow, I couldn't believe I actually got up there. Okay, so should be... A power up. There we go. Now let's get up to the top of this hill. I believe there's a star up here. There is. And then we're gonna go this way, take out these mice. I think there's something up here of interest to us. Besides just a large row of coins. Maybe not. But there's the, uh, the checkpoint flag. All these little Goombas. Maybe it's over here. Nope, just another line of coins. All right, so let's keep on trucking. Let's get up here, get to this warp pipe. And now we are underground. I know there's something of interest down here. Okay, that, that doesn't go anywhere. Now, I believe those spiky guys I can actually take out with my claws. Yup. There is a star up there. Maybe not. I can see a green glow. An ominous green glow. 
it may actually be past the pipe. If this is the way out, I'm gonna be sad. Uh, that's the end of the level. Okay, so I did see a star. I'll probably go back and get it if I have to, but for now, we're just gonna end the level. We're, doing, we're actually doing pretty well because I'm halfway through World 2 and I haven't died yet. <laughs> kind of proud of myself on that one. All right, there's a giant Galoomba block in the way. So, also the Galoomba gives me a free star. Big Galoomba blockade. But they are just as easy to take down as regular Galoombas. And there we go. So that was that was the big Galoomba blockade. <laughs> I know, not too uh not too ominous, was it? Gives us another star. And then we've got the cherries. Okay, these things are cool. So basically, double cherry pass. So basically what's gonna happen is when you touch a cherry, you get cloned. I do believe you can have up to four clones. And the clones have only one life. One, once they are once they are hit, they are dead. But you get certain things like this where you can do double fireballs. And then there's another cherry, which means now we've got triple fireballs. Oh. But each peach moves on their own, but they still move like, they still copy your movements? So then you run into situations where you've got like a peach in the middle of nowhere. See, one of the peaches died. So now we just go over here to activate this. We actually need a peach on each platform. And it gives us a green star. Okay. That didn't go as well as anticipated. But I still have... I still got a double cherry. Oh, there's a thing over here. There's a double cherry. So now there's three of me. I do believe the max is four. I do believe you can't have more than four. And then those peaches will follow. Well, I got two stars out of it. Don't know where the third... Oh, what's this? Four. So much peach. Oh, right. The third star's up here. Because you need four... Four characters to get it. And there you go. That is double cherries for you. And I do believe next is the castle.
We're gonna find out. Maybe there's something else? But I'm up to 40 stars now. I do believe I need a hundred stars to beat the or to get into the final castle. So I'm doing pretty good. And we have another slot machine. So let's take a look see at that. All right, we get a bell, a cherry. Oh god. Yep, there we go. I did the bare minimum work. Still got a one up though, because I had 97 coins. <laughs> there was a that actually kind of reminds me of an arcade that I, back way back when. Oh my god. There was an arcade that I went to in New Jersey. I want to say this was like the late 80s. I forget the name of it. And it actually had like slot machines. You put a token, you put a quarter in and you got tokens to buy stuff, to buy prizes. And there was one slot machine in it that it didn't matter what the outcome was, you actually won something no matter what. And I cannot for the life of me remember what that, oh, the name of that arcade was, but it was, it was fun. I hate these auto I hate auto scrolling levels like with a passion. But at least this one has There we go. I actually made it all the way. So Basically, I just need to keep this thing all the way to the end, and I do believe that there's a star at the end of the level. But that is literally easier said than done. Especially with the fact that there's spikes and bullet bills coming from pretty much everywhere. But, it, but it's a very effective uh, cannon. Because it takes out multiple things if, if shot right. And it takes out bullet bill. See, I wouldn't be able to take out eight of those with just the fire flower. Okay, so. There's the third star. And I do believe I fight Boom Boom. I don't think this is the Bowser Castle. And I still have the cannon. Yep, Boom Boom. He is complete. It takes a few shots, but you can actually shoot him with the cannon. Though it's still more effective to just shoot him or to just jump on him. I think you can shoot him with fireballs, too. And now he's invisible. It's like he's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Boom Boom. There we go. All right. I still hate auto-scrolling levels, just saying. Still hate auto-scrolling levels. But there's our second little spritzy bright person. I don't remember what they're called. I should really read the back of the box. And I got a one up. And there we go. So that takes care of world two. I but I think there's actually, I don't remember. I think there's actually a boss that I got to fight between worlds two and three. We're going to check. You got smoke coming out of the cannons up there in the castle. So another pipe.
and it moves that way. It looks like there might be some... No, it looks like I actually go directly to World 3. Yep, straight to World 3. And a third castle. There's a castle in the end of everyone. So, that is going to be it for this part of Super Mario 3D World. Uh, we're going to start World 3 in the next video. So until next time, take care, y'all. Peace!